of love that you love yourself. Love everyone else. You don't have to give or feed in to this hate and negativity. Because remember, when you give and feed in to racism, you empower racism. Because you, where you put your focus and where you put your awareness is where you put your energy. So the more you focus on racism and the more you are so... It is okay to speak about it. It is okay to speak about racism constructively and plan and make goals to make a change for the better. But don't focus on it. Don't focus on it. Don't give it your power. Don't give it your awareness. Don't give it your energy. Because the more you do that, the more you create it all around the world. Give it no power. For example, this word. Let us depower this word right now. The word nigger. Let us depower that word. We are going to depower the word nigger. Because when you hear this word, or if someone calls you this word, this word has no power. Absolutely no power whatsoever. It is just a word coming out of people's mouth with extremely negative intention. This word has no power unless you give it power. This word has been used to degrade you. This word has been used to belittle you. This word is being used to traumatize you. This word is being used by the narcissist to keep you down. This word is being used to hurt you. However, it is you and your reaction to the word that gives the word power. It is you and your reaction to the word that has kept this word alive in the mouths of your enemies. This is you because you react to it. I have been called that word nigger by Caucasian people and you know what I look at them and I smile and I say I'm a beautiful nigger you gotta say it right I'm a beautiful nigger talented nigger spiritual nigger you have to say the word people try to use this word to hurt me and I quickly depowered the word people in high positions try to use this word to hurt me and when I did not react to their use of this word that they are trying to use to hurt me, I didn't react. As a matter of fact, I agreed with them and I told them to use the word the right way. I'm a beautiful nigga. I'm a talented nigga. I am a spiritual nigga. I am a gorgeous nigga. I am a talented nigga. And so what I did was I added to the word and I said, you have, and I told them, you mu I, 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 <laughs> I looked them in the face and I said, if you're going to use this word, use it the right way. Put all the definitions behind it. I told them, if you're going to use this word, use it the right way. Included all of the above. Don't just say nigga, that's weak, that's lame. Put those words behind it and then you are describing who I am. I am a divine nigga. And when they realized that this was the only word, because see, these people are trying to bring me down because these people are trying to bring you down because they cannot. They see that you are an empowered spiritual avatar. You are powerful and they're looking for ways to bring you down from out of your power. And so they pull out the last weapon that they knew was going to knock you on your behind and cripple you and remove you and remove you out of your confidence they pull out that word nigger and how about when they realize the word has no power with this one she actually likes the word and she empowers the word i am a beautiful nigger i am the most gorgeous nigger you will ever find upon the face of the earth i am a divine nigger i am sexiest nigga you will ever find walking down the street. I don't want to walk down the street. They're going to think I'm trying to sell something. But the thing is I am an empowered nigga. And so they looked at me and they go, shit, what else, what else we got? We got nothing else on this one because that was our last weapon of destruction and it didn't work. Do not react to the word. Do not react to the word. It is you, oh my fellow African. 
that is empowering the word. It is you, oh, my fellow African, that has kept this word alive and it's gonna keep living if every time somebody says it and you're like, oh, oh my God, you hear what she said? What did she say? She said the N word, oh, for the love of God. You just gave them power over your entire being and over your entire soul and over your entire flesh over your entire spirit they can now control you with one little stinking word that is not even you why empower something that you are not if somebody is going to continuously call you this word embrace the word with power the word in the heart of your enemies will lose its strength it will lose its what else they gonna pull out on you after that they gonna call you a negro i am a negro they gonna call you black i am black they gonna call you go back to Africa? I would love to. Me a couple zebras and some giraffes. I, would, I don't mind. They gonna call you nappy hair? I have nappy hair. These things are all true. They got nothing else on you. Unless you give them the power, they have no power over you. Start taking back your power by the use of your mind. It is all up here. It is all here. Take back your power.